Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to talk about pure pipes versus impure pipes and we are going to discuss how the pipe mechanism relates to change detection. Let's take for example the filter by category pipe that we have just defined here. So this pipe is going to trigger a change here in the template whenever a new input value gets received. So if you receive here a new value of the courses array, this is going to get passed on to the pipe and the pipe is going to report to Angular that the template needs to be re-rendered because the pipe received here a new value. But the problem is updating the template can be an expensive operation and Angular is going to update the template only if it's absolutely necessary. Otherwise, the application performance might suffer. So Angular is only going to apply the template if indeed a new value here gets received. Let's see what happens though if we update a value here on the courses array directly. Let's say for example that we access here the first course here of the beginner category which after reloading the application we can see that it's going to be the RxJS in practice course. If we open here our db data file containing the data that is getting displayed we are going to see that this is the second course here in the courses array. So here whenever we click here the edit course button let's modify this course and see if the template will get updated correctly. We are going to modify here the implementation of this method, we are going to clear here any previous implementation that you might have and we are going to access here the courses array. We are going to access the second position of the array and we are going to change the category of the course and we are going to change it to advanced for example. Let's try this out to see if this will indeed trigger an update of the template. So if we click here on the edit course button, we are going to notice that the beginner tag is going to switch to advanced. Take a look. So as you can see, the advanced tag is now applied. And this, if you remember, is not the result that we want. What we would like to do is for the filter by category pipe to be triggered again and for this advanced course to be removed from the beginner courses list. So the first course of the list should now be this one instead of the RxJS in practice course which is now marked as advanced. So what it looks like that it happened here is that the change detection mechanism of Angular updated here the template but it did not trigger here again the filter by category pipe so we did not get a new list of courses and now our view is inconsistent with our data. This course should not be here in this list of beginner courses. Let's confirm that this is indeed being caused because the filter by category pipe is not getting called a second time. We are going to switch here to our pipe implementation and let's just add here some logging so that we can see what is going on. We're going to log here simply to the console called transform and we're going to see what we have here. We are going to reload the application, let's inspect the console and we're going to see that called transform was called here once as we would expect and so we have here the list of beginner courses but now if we clear here the console and we click on the edit course button which will trigger this handler here on edit course we are going to see that no logging occurred here and the course was switched here to the advanced tag so this confirms that the filter by category pipe was only called once this means that mutating the input data of the pipe directly will not cause this type of pipe to be re-triggered on every change detection cycle. Angular does this as an optimization, this is because the calculation of a pipe is potentially an expensive operation and Angular wants to perform this operation a minimal number of times. So what Angular will do by default is to call a pipe only if the input of the pipe changes and in this case in our application component we did not provide here to the pipe a new courses array instead we have mutated directly the existing array so there was no way for the pipe to know that its input has changed and there was no way for angular to know that the transform function needs to be called again this type of pipe that gets called only if the input data changes is called a pure pipe Pipes are pure by default. Most of the pipes that we have covered 
in this course are all pure. These are the built-in angular pipes, such as for example the pipe used to format a date, and they are made pure in order to prevent the occurrence of performance issues in applications that use them. Now if we would like to make this pipe here, the filter by category pipe, compatible with this type of direct data mutation, then we would need to make it impure. An impure pipe is going to get called in every angular change detection cycle. Let's see how can we do that. We are going to specify here in the pure property that this is an impure pipe by setting this property to false. And if we now try this out, we are going to reload the application and notice what happens now if we click here on edit course, the pipe was called a second time and the filtering occurred and now the RxJS in practice course is no longer here in the list of beginner courses. Let's inspect here the console, so as you can see Angular is calling the transform method multiple times, once per each change detection execution. As you can see it's very important that the logic that we implement here in the transform method to be very lightweight in order to prevent any performance issues. If possible it's better to always make our pipes pure and only resort to impure pipes if we absolutely need to. The problem with impure pipes is that if we do here some sort of expensive computation that might cause the whole user experience to degrade as the user interface becomes very slow. And with this we have reached the end of the pipe section. Let's now talk about Angular internationalization. We are going to learn how to build multi-language Angular applications.